Hey guys, uh, you know, how does a realtor like me from New Jersey wind up making an offer in uh, a luxury condo in Portugal? Um, I just want to share the story with you because I thought it'd be kind of interesting. Um, somebody challenged me or asked me for one really, really good uh, real estate story that I had. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to share this one with you. Um, this is Peter Cunha, your New Jersey real estate giant. And I just got back from a much overdue vacation in Portugal that was somewhat vacation, somewhat business um, that I want to share with you. But part of the reason why I love what I do is because I can do things like this and you never know um, where the real estate rabbit hole is going to take you. So um, I want to I want to just kind of rewind to about, I want to say six, seven months ago. And I was showing, I guess, one of my first clients in real estate, which was about eight, nine years ago. And um, they called me up and they say, hey, Pete, listen, you know, we're looking, you know, we want to get a bigger house. And, um, you know, we've been on a journey. We've been looking for a while. Um, and the market's not really kind of cooperating with them right now. But um, this one specific house that they wanted to look at was uh, in a town called Brick, which is pretty big. And uh, they had given me the address. So it's like, instead of 123 Main Street, it was, uh, I remember the street name was Linden, uh, but I didn't put the right GPS in because I didn't know it was Avenue Street, um, Drive, whatever it was, Loop, Circle, um, in Bricktown. So I wound up getting to the property and realizing that there's three Linden somethings that connected and I kept driving around in a circle and uh, you know, I'm a big proponent that if you're on time, you're late. So I think I was scheduled to be there like 10 minutes before the appointment, something along that those lines. And I'm driving around in circles, lost with like a chicken without a head. And I'm going through Linden this, going to Linden that, and I, I just can't find this house. But I keep circling around this piece of property that um, is being, you know, it's, it's currently under construction, let's say being renovated, right? And I'm like, you know, I think the second or third time that I, I looped around this house, I was like, I am definitely coming back to find out what, you know, what the story is on this house. So anyway, finally, yours truly gets to this house. And, um, fun, you know, funny enough that my clients didn't, you know, didn't particularly care for this one. It was smaller than what they were looking for. But um, the funny part was that I stopped by this house and I happened to find the, the builder. And I said to him, you know, what are your intentions with this house? And he basically says to me, he goes, well, listen, you know, our intent was, my intent originally was to, uh, you know, re, you know, renovate the house completely from, you know, the studs up and then basically move into it with my wife. We're just downsizing. But turns out that his wife doesn't want to move to brick. So we're going to be, we're going to be putting it on the market. And I said, well, you know, that's great. I have a lot of buyers. This is, you know, again, seven months ago when the market was, you know, still hot. Um, nobody, you know, like everything was going over ask. So lo and behold, I, I had buyers that I thought were a good fit for this house. Um, they did make an offer and then they wound up backing out. And I felt really bad about that because I was like, I knew it was a quality house. Um, you know, just, just from doing renovations recently with my house, you know, you know factoring windows, costs, siding, you know, and everything else. Um, and the big part about this house, it had a basement. And it had a pool. The pool had to be redone, but who cares? Um, it, you know, the prices of pools in New Jersey started sixty thousand, um, and that's you know that's being uh, conservative, I guess. So, needless to say, um, they passed on it. And then I get a phone call from the buyers that I showed the house that didn't want the you know that didn't want that house. And they said, "Can you find my father a house?" And I said, "Boom! I got a house for you." So anyway, long story short, he winds up buying the house. Um, so me and the developers wind up kind of, you know, building a relationship unto ourselves. Um, you know, uh, my my client, Sandy and Talib, you know, shout out to your dad, Jose. Uh, I know he's loving it. Uh, it's his retirement forever home. Um, fits all his needs. But, um, you know, I, I wound up meeting uh, the developer, Henry. And, you know, him and I built up a really good rapport during the whole transaction. And he says to me, he goes, Peter, you're Portuguese, Polish guy, Henry, right? He goes, you're Portuguese. I'm buying, I'm buying a house or a condo in Portugal. You should really take a look at it and uh, you should buy one yourself. They're, they're, they're going to be, you know, up in value. So um, lo and behold, I, I take a video. I, I make a few phone calls. 
I talked to the salesperson in Portugal and uh, I'm like, what do I do? You know, what do I need to do to lock up uh, a piece of property in Portugal? And he goes, well, you know, I need to deposit, you know, take a look at it, make sure that this is something that you want to do. And uh, lo and behold, we, we sent over a wire transfer, a decent amount of money. And, uh, you know, blindly, we kind of uh, decided that we were going to make the leap of faith and buy an, you know, investment property out in Portugal. Um, we're still waiting to see if we get bank approval. So it's not a locked in deal yet, but this is one of my favorite stories because we just got back from Portugal. Never been to this town before. And Armasau, which is in the Algarve section of Portugal, and we fell in love with it, right? And, you know, we know nothing about this place, right? We're used to the Jersey Shore, you know, Belmar, you know, Asbury Park. There's, you know, there's stores and everything. We're walking down the beachfront. There's like literally four restaurants and, um, I, I think there's like, you know, two bodegos that sell like trinkets, you know, to tourists and, you know, they sell like hats and beach towels, and beach balls and stuff like that. We're like, this has got to be the quietest town. Like, what's the big uproar about this? Right. So as I'm signing my life away on this uh, thing, I, you know, I meet the salesperson. I'm like, you know, we're, we're, we, we love it here. It's quiet. You know, we could see ourselves spending some time going forward. And I'm like, just out of curiosity, you know are any celebrities buying in here? And he goes, well, matter of fact, he's like, uh, you know, the, the next guy that I'm meeting with is actually the goalkeeper for the Portuguese national team. And I'm like, I, I don't know who that is, right? <laughs> you know, like who does? Um, so anyway, I meet that guy and uh, seemed nice enough, but you know, there's a little bit of a translation barrier there. Um, and it, it's funny because I had some real estate stickers and I had the, the Peter the Giant has a posse sticker on me. And I basically handed it to him, shook his hand and, uh, you know, uh, said, I hope we become neighbors. And, uh, you know, we left we left it at that. And uh, it's funny because my salesperson out there uh, says, he goes, you know, Pete, he goes, he's really shy. And I go, uh, sorry, you know, <laughs> there's not much that I could do about that. I just can't, you know, I can't hold back sometimes. But um, anyway, I'm really excited. But this is just kind of a real estate story. I know I'm getting a little long winded on this, but it's funny how you keep an open mind and you keep the dialogue going on with uh, the people that are really important to me. You know, it's, uh, you know, my, my clients become some of my best friends and that's what I love about what I do. So um, I look forward to sharing another real estate story with you in the future. Um, if you have any real estate questions, give me a call, visit the website, opendoorsrealtynj.com. Um, buy and sell with Peter. Uh, my phone number is 917 690 uh, 5390. Anyway, thanks for listening and watching this video. Um, and that, this is why I love what I do. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.